Hello everyone, this is Landrider 7, aka LR7, or LAN, for sh if it's easier. So, here we are, in this ship here, and what do you know, there's a couple of, there's a person that said hi to me, which I have not seen in a while. Well, little does he know that I'm broadcasting live or at the time of this uh, stream that he's in it anyways uh, it's been such a long time since I've been on this ship so much uh, has happened and and uh, so, uh, many other things must have must have changed uh, since then so I'm just gonna show you guys around tell a few tales for every section I go around this ship I'll just tell I'll tell about what happened or the things that took place and I'm just gonna gonna go start from there till then sit back relax and I shall tell you about the story of how I got this game got into this game and what gave me the idea to build this ship Around the summer of 2010, when the game was actually called by Trooper Edition, I've, uh, I was uh, just looking for, looking for some games uh, to run on a Ubuntu-based OS called U a Linux Mint, although there wasn't really a big selection to choose from, but that didn't stop me from trying it out, so... And so I decided to download it from the repositories and check this game out. So after after that has been done, I uh, I went to uh, to the menu, and instead of going to the servers, I just went for s the single player or went to a bot match and try out some of their uh, offline games. So that's what exactly what I did. It was quite interesting because not only not only can you uh, check out and play on the maps or even shoot people on them on them, but you can also edit in game, in coop edit mode, which is actually the neat thing about this game. You can create whatever you like and and frag people while you're at it. Such an interesting approach, to the point that I'm like, what if I can create something? What if I can make something big? And that's exa and well, the next thing you know, uh, it wasn't long till I decided to uh, get into get into editing, and that's pretty much what I did. However, I didn't start editing until until the newest update of this game came, called Justice Edition. And so I had to get that one instead to keep up with the latest uh, update of this game. And and Justice Edition, I can tell you, they really changed uh, several things, including its weapon design and and a few and a few other slight changes as well. Other than that, the editing and ev and all the other stuff is pretty much still intact. However, at the beginning of 2011, this is when I decided to go out into the servers and start going to edit mode in one of them. So pretty much, uh, I just went to random, no specific server, just just something that can that can get me into editing freely, and that's pretty much what I did. I came across servers where they're locked others where I can't do anything and some that are that are occupied and to and after a few tries I finally found an, em an empty server with no one in it and it was in coop edit this was during the time when I didn't know how to how to set master or lock this game from anyone entering so and so I decided to build this uh, box 
this box that actually stretched from here all the way till that end about there. That was actually quite a big box. And well, that's how it began. None of this ever existed. Not even that hangar down there. So as I decided to, you know, fix up the box a bit from the outside, mostly giving it a giving it a, an appropriate color and this brown rusted look like when you get close it was the choice and just pretty much uh, went on from there so so as I continued uh, editing all of a sudden a person came along and wanted to and said uh, hi to me and, well I messaged him saying hi back and hey, how's everything going and it was like yeah it was all right I mean what are you making he said and well I was like I was just making I'm just trying to make a ship and he was like oh you're making oh you're making a, a ship out of a box and I'm like yeah I'm, I'm just experimenting just see see where the uh, outcome comes and so that's pretty much uh so pretty much I had uh I had to tell him, well, I mean, are you good at editing? And he was like, well, I know how to, I know how to make make things here. And I assume, and I and I was like, all right. So, if you can help me help me out uh, finishing this ship, then that'll be great. So that's pretty much what happened. So, as and and as time of as time go, gone by a little, about, let's say, uh, 30 or so minutes later, another person came along and he saw my map and he was wondering if he can help out. And so I decided, and so I decided to let him do, uh, help out as well. I just tell him that some things need to be done around here. Well, as they did kind of fix a couple of things and on their spare time they built this, <laughs> I don't think that was necessary to have, but I just had. But they, I thought it was neat to kind of keep it around as as uh, as some memory, or kind of like a reminder of how it all began. Just just to just to keep it for the sake of it. Perhaps in the later release, this will this will be changed to something else, or will be altered, or removed. But anyways. That's where the participation of the editing began, and that's when it and that's when I began began doing even more edits and spending a bit more time in this game. So so time went on, and more more things had been improved and added, and I had even even a bit more people starting to. Uh, to recognize the ship a little more and I apparently I'm not sure how I got that a couple of people recognizing this ship but I'm guessing one of those guys might have told told them about me and and the next thing you know I be, I became somewhat somewhat famous in this in this uh, game in the in the summer of 2011 which, which that actually felt great, cause that means I've done something, and I, and I had made a ripple. Something I normally don't get. And so, I, and so one day I met, I came across another server to put to set up my map here. And the next thing you know, I met a user, some person with the alias some dude. And he pretty much bi uh, is the one that created these windows. Well, it looked way di different back then. And he also created the outside of them as well. This little plat, these platforms here. So, so I, so yeah, I have. Uh, he was just asking, hey, do you need some help, or or are you are you looking to do something particular? And I was like, yeah, if, 
I'm just uh, I'm just adding trying to put some windows here and he and he and he was like I can help out and I'm like okay let's see what you can do I let him let him do his thing around these windows here and I continue doing some other thing elsewhere so he was like oh I finished the windows I'm like really is it that that quick yeah check it out and so I just went back here and it was like wow these are actually really good windows and and here's the and here and he also here's one of the things some dude was literally was literally that the one guy or or perhaps of the time that done the that had helped me the most out of everyone else and he also put more edit more and even even included more than than anyone on the on the credits or at the time being and he's been and he's been in my map multiple times dur uh, during during uh, 2011 and of course that's when that's when I start uh, rec start meeting up with clan clans I should say because there there's like editing clans as well as shooting clans and and also there has even been a trolling clan, which I'd like to tell you about in a sh in a bit. So, this is what happened. One day, I was just inviting everyone to help me out. I just I was hosting a a mass editing party. I was literally going on on these uh, IRC chats that they had to invite everyone to. To come over because I had a mass editing party and I was inviting as many people as I can had many many people including people like doom uh, Epsilon Jackal and a couple of CM uh, clan members and I think some other people as well came along that I was inviting that took me that took me a week or so to get everyone to help out and so Everybody, you know, they're, they're minding their own business, checking out, you know, hanging out, talking about whatever comes across or whatever it is. It was, it was like a party in, in my ship as we were building. Then, there was a user that came along and he, and he wanted to come and ask me, can I come and help out edit? At the beginning, he kind of looked... He, he, I thought he was a legitimate person that wanted to help me with a with a clan tag but little did I know that I have let in a person that was about to destroy this entire sector and the mistake I made had resulted in a missing sector which which got everyone upset, including myself. And as I went to try to ban this guy, he was already gone before I know it. And, well, I had to cancel. I had to cancel the whole edit, uh, the party, and the next thing you know, I had to tell everyone that they can leave now. Or I'd call it a, I'd call it a day. L losing, losing a giant piece of map as well as time and resources that took to create this sector well none of this existed during the time but still so fortunately one of the one of the guys had the map saved and so that person was kind enough to send it to me and and now I kept that copy of that map to my uh, local drive and now I uh, now I was able to fin uh, continue on without having to start over, which pretty much saved me a lot. So, as time went on, I, I had uh, gotten a lot more done. More stuff has been added. Many other, many other rooms have been included, and a piece of the of the ship has expanded some more. And even added this, this sector which expanded some uh, even more and more stuff has been added as well including some 
additional details and and a few rails that some of the people had uh, donated to me or voluntarily decided to build put together for me and all I did was copy and paste their creation and just and just took uh, and then did the rest from here and and then there there comes the unexpected lately at during uh, during uh, the fall of pretty much between throughout fall and early 2012 I've been having this clan that's been that's been impersonating not only me but also everyone else uh, destroying destroying people's creations and just being just being a troll as what they always do they decided to grab a piece of my ship renamed it to something else removed a lot of things well more most likely most likely added some some other things actually they they weren't they weren't bad editors i i would admit but man i was dealing with i was dealing with somebody with someone that really didn't like me or they just wanted to insult uh, me in any or try to or probably insult anyone really and so what they did was they they post put it or added a bunch of swastikas claiming and then named the map this is LR7's new clan or something like like that which one I am not a member or a part of a clan nor do I plan to become one one part of any as I am an individual that that likes to edit my own stuff stuff as well as ha as well as cooperatively so it wasn't long till until uh, they weren't able to uh, impersonate or even troll me for for long as one of the admins of these servers have been able to successfully obtain the IP of these trolls and well they were never to be to be seen or even earn having to be bothered by them again and once again I've been able to I've been able to continue editing without any further interruptions other than lag and the server being so unstable due to the massive size of this ship so as so my during the last day during the last uh, months or winter of 2012 as I as I start working to a couple of sectors here it wasn't long till till I come I came to the point that I wasn't able to continue and the next thing you know I had some other I had some other issues to take care of outside of of this game and I didn't come around as much and the next thing you know I disappeared or and everyone was wondering whatever what happened to me or if I will ever return and pretty much I had uh, archived this the last remains of this ship or whatever edits I created and uploaded to quadruplis and and from there I disappeared and and so you th and so you would think I'm never to be seen again however I came back in the mid in the middle of 2013 I made a comeback as a ma to with a couple of ch with a couple of uh, plans in order to get this map uh, completed or at least speed things up a bit I had to I had, to had the idea of how about, uh, since this map is so huge and anybody that attempts to enter this map are either going to lag out or their computer may crash and so in order to reduce any chances of of anything like that happening I had to I had literally had to go and 
and remove a, a bunch of unnecessary details, including the ones that cannot be seen or, or just weren't that necessary to have. Fortune, and that, and that helped quite a bit, but that, but that still didn't stop any lag. So this, so I decided to work on just one sector, and that's exactly what I did. The back engine, also formerly known as Sector 6. Uh-oh. That wasn't supposed to happen, but no worries. All I have to do is get map, and I'll be able to have, to be able to obtain the copy of the, the one intact. But yeah, this is how trolls would do it. They would just grab a big cube and just destroy the rest, just like that. And of course, usually loading stream, uh, screens take a while, and and something like this usually happens. So, however, I may not be able to show the rest of the map due to its loading time, but it, I'll just. Uh, finish finish this st last story before moving on to the next one so so anyways af after working working on one sector and I even I even invited a few people to come by and and do uh, death matches and benchmark it a bit after completion so far the map was was quite was quite a bit, still felt big. There were plenty of places to hide, and there were spots that not many people went on much, but I put it there anyways, because, heck, heck, it's a big map, so I gotta figure out how to, way how to make the most out of it. And also added some int interesting stuff as well, and that you had saw earlier. And that was, and that was, and I, and from there, I pretty much uploaded the playable version of that map ready to be to be used and hopefully one day it would be it would be featured in the next uh, cube release well as much as I'd like to continue doing more stuff and this is actually my first stream I will have to stop from here not a whole lot I've done all I did was move around done stuff and the next thing you know I messed up and even this map decided to to load at last exactly how it left off so anyways uh a few mistakes i've made here but no biggie i find i know how to save my stuff and if damage was done it would it would be i can just pick up where i left off simple as that well guys uh there's uh, more to this uh, to this map that actually happened and more that w took place. However, I'm gonna have to save that for another time, just to re just to not make it as long as it this as already is. So, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the story and you finally got a a brief preview or you know the brief story of what this hap of about my ship and the things that took place and how it went and how it came to be. Also, I'll, I also plan to talk about other stuff that that doesn't necessarily relate to the game or my map. It could mean any it could be anything else. I mean, I, I do have plans to to have uh, featured people and also as, you know, as I do more edits and more more engagement or during the time of or during the times of the streams, I'll be able to be able to pretty much talk about, demonstrate, or even or even do or even talk about off-topic stuff as well. After all, I do have t plans to talk about technology, Linux, open source, as well as the paranormal, sort of natural, some some random conspiracies, conspiracy uh, crap. And even, and even some other things that I just wanted to address, and I and who knows, maybe maybe if we can, you guys can come come by, hang out. You can even get, uh, download this game to your computer, and 
and even come across to help me out and who knows you you may even be featured in in one of my streams later later on well i'm i sure hope to meet some some of you guys and maybe talk about more stuff later on till then this is lr7 and when and before i log out i also wanted to wanted to uh put this out before i forget that the real reason that i actually got into streaming or the idea of it was actually uh was actually a, uh, the guy that goes by the by the name Mr. Relentless. He's the one he's the one that introduced streaming to me. So, and and from and I was uh, helping him out to get started on his end, but ended up ended up uh, getting into it myself as well. But anyways, uh, if when you guys can go check him out, I'm very sure he does. He has some interesting stuff to talk about, and and he does gameplays, Lex plays of different other games, while while he talks about other things like life and somewhat similar, but the different, but just with several di differences. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching and checking this out. I really hope. Uh, I really hope I'll be able to have more people come by and make this map recognized and its glorious uh, title it had back then, and maybe, and maybe more stuff may happen later on. Till then, this is LR7, and I am logging out.